Well, they're both vying to be the next governor of Texas. One of them already has the gig. They were both in San Antonio today. Yeah, we have current governor Greg Abbott and former Congressman Bitha O'Rourke. They have different ideas, as we all know. But as Myra Arthur reports, today they did have one thing in common, and that's their focus on the Texas power grid. Texas is also now the number one state in America for jobs created by black business owners and Hispanic women business owners. Governor Abbott was collecting endorsements today on the east side from business leaders in a range of industries. Abbott said that since the February 2021 winter storm, when the Texas power grid left millions in the dark and in the cold, Texas set a record for the number of businesses that moved their headquarters to the state. They invest a lot of money. Uh, into studying things like the power grid. Uh, and all their studies proved exactly what we were able to prove this past week. The power grid uh, is more resilient, more stable, uh, and stronger than it's ever been. Thank you. But east of downtown today. This governor is not making this state better for business. Beto O'Rourke slammed Abbott for not doing enough to require winterization of the state's power sources. Your own utility right here in San Antonio, CPS, has already had to jack the rates on every single utility payer in this city. You are literally paying the Abbott tax. Abbott touted 14 laws he signed in the aftermath of that unforgettable winter blast. During winter storm Uri, there were less than 100 natural gas facilities designated as critical infrastructure. Now there are more, 2, 000, more than 2,900. O'Rourke said today, if elected, he would connect Texas to the national grid. His rally also went beyond power failures to other policies with plenty of sparks. If you are driving out women because you don't trust them to make their own decisions about their own bodies and you've placed a $10,000 bounty on the backs of anybody who seeks to help anybody else make their own reproductive health care decisions, that's not good for business. Of course, they have to get through the March primaries first, and early voting for that starts on Monday. You can find sample ballots right now on ksat.com. Just click on the Vote 2022 section right there from the homepage.